Hello, I'm Molly. This channel is dedicated to thrifted fashion, art, design, interiors, everything I like really. I'm trying not to put myself into any one box. This is a really good angle. I should film in this angle more often. I'm back from a trip to Boston. I went there with my boyfriend and also for work. It was for another photo shoot. I typically travel twice a year, maybe sometimes more often. I'm just sitting here with my bottom lip out because I really want to print stickers for my online little shop where I sell my prints, but it's like not possible to get stickers printed for like under a hundred dollars. Like you have to get certain quantities and I just can't find any place that prints less quantities. And I just, blah. How about 90s? Oh man, there are these three cranes that hang out in our neighborhood and have for a long time. During the lockdown, when I was living with my parents and couldn't really see anyone, they, like, seeing them was, like, the one thing I had to look forward to, other than, like, art and, you know, following my career goals. So they're just really special to me. And I was just on my walk and I saw them and I didn't have this camera with me. This camera has like a really good zoom and I can get really good wildlife photos with it. And so I like fast walked home and I probably should have ran, but I didn't want people to think that I was crazy. But do I care what other people think? Do I care if they think I look crazy? I don't know if I do. It would have maybe been worth it. But anyway, I got back to the spot and they were gone and I was really sad and now I've just been driving around looking for them. I just need to take that camera with me every time I go on a walk. I just really want to draw them. I have never seen them this up close and I think one of them is either like a younger one or a female and then two males and they were so beautiful and I love how they move. We're gonna keep stalking them until we get some good footage and we can draw them and paint them and head guy on their team is like oh that's a fucking grand slammer <laughs> oh that's awesome hello cleaning up my like asmr supplies microphone stuff gear drawer this is what it's looking like oh i um wiped everything out I'm trying to sell some stuff. I'm selling this microphone on my let go because I have my Blue Yeti set up in the arm that you might have seen in the last video. And I wanted to put this laptop in this drawer so I can stop looking at it. It still works, but it's pretty old and I'm just not using it right now. But I definitely want to keep it. I just realized <clears throat> I was keeping stationary and little like freebies for my Poshmark and Depop that I sometimes put in orders. In this drawer, they should be separate. This should only be ASMR gear and then all of my like stationary and stuff for online selling should be with all that stuff, which is in a different room. So all this needs to go with that. so cute this is from buck mason i never heard of it before but they're like in our niche which is so crazy that i've never heard of them but they were in boston on newberry street and this top just looked so like lovely and high quality and i love the neckline i don't know if you saw this like plastic bag sitting in the corner when i was cleaning um this is a take back bag from four days. I used to be an ambassador for them, but they like shut down their ambassador program and I don't think I ever sold anything for them. So we'll just talk about them for free now. But basically you pay like $20 for this. They send it to you. You can put your old clothes that are unsellable, anything that's like holy or damaged beyond repair. I wouldn't use this service for like stuff that could still be used 
because this is actually downcycling items into like um, insulation, shoddy, and stuff like that. So my preference would not be to turn usable clothes into something that's like a slightly worse version, but like for fabric scraps, this is a great option. So I just like have this in my room and if I like cut off a pair of jeans, I'll like put the scraps in here um, and just like fill it up over time. $20 seems like a lot for that and I definitely thought that it was, but apparently when you send the take back bag, when you send the take back bag back to them, you get $20 in store credit. So it's like basically free. So that's pretty cool. They don't take underwear, but I believe Nikki still has this service where um, they'll send you a shipping label for free and you can send them your old underwear, so. We love recycling textiles when possible. Available. Hang on there. Oh, and this, this one is so in a really nice full sweep on the bottom. Okay, just to give a little update here, if you didn't see my last video, I was trying to basically grow my channel using YouTube Shorts. Well, I do think I found a winning formula. Basically, just using a trending song with text overlay is a winning combination. You will get so many views. You can have that tip for free. Um, after that week of filming and editing a reel every day, uploading every day, also editing the vlog, and working my full-time job, which is completely on my computer, I was so burnt out of computer work. I had eye strain, like really bad eye strain. So we're abandoning that. <laughs> we're not gonna do that anymore. Um, the type of videos that I prefer to make, you're watching right now. I don't like short form vertical video. I don't think anyone really does, but Facebook has just decided to force this on us because it keeps people on the app more often more frequently and so all other platforms just have to do that to compete um it's literally just because it keeps you in the platform longer and no one really chose this i don't think any creators like it but i was thinking about my works instagram account that i ran and like if that was the only thing that i was doing with my job there i would um just make reels i would only make reels and post stories like no other posts but i do a lot more than just the instagram account so it's just a lot so i don't know i don't know what my next get rich quick scheme is gonna be shop my prints please um yeah just wanted to fill you in on how that all progressed Hello friends, coming here a bit later than the clips you will have just seen. I went through like a major identity crisis. I was not creating, I felt like giving everything up um, because I just give so much of myself to my platforms. Someone bought something from me on Poshmark and reached out to me and said, I love your Instagram, I love your ASMR, I felt like buying something from a celebrity. And that changed my whole mindset and made me feel like I am doing something that is like making a difference in some way. So I'm back. I've done a bit of thrifting recently and I just wanted to share with you all because how fun. The first thing is this top. I've been watching a lot of Friends lately. It was something that I always put off watching. One of my toxic traits is avoiding things that are super popular, but I'm loving it. And so I just love the fashion so much. So this was definitely influenced by the show, giving something that like maybe Monica would wear. My next thing is this necklace that I'm also wearing. It's just a little seashell, so cute. I love it. Also very much in the friends vein is this little 
Talbot's top. It's stretchy, it's tight, it's got a lace neckline, like super 90s. I am kind of over wearing like oversized things. I want things to fit my body. I want things tight on my upper <laughs> regions, on my torso. Um, pretty much always and so this was like looking for more things like that. Oh, we're losing light. Oh, it's coming back. I also picked up this little panda embroidery picture that I'll insert here. That's at my boyfriend's house right now. I ordered a few shoes on Poshmark or just one pair and then I bought another pair of shoes. Neither of these shoes are working so I'm selling them both on Poshmark but I have these slides which I wish these worked like every day when I get dressed I just want to wear these but they're just too tight my foot's too wide for them basically but they're in really good condition the kind of lining on the inside upper is coming off a little bit but they still have a ton of life left in them and I'm super bummed these didn't work out they looked like they would be wide enough but I also saw these shoes at the thrift store and so I had this fashion professor in college and she dressed in all black and then her shoes were always something like very different like this but like all black like very sleek very artistic architectural but looked like comfy and I feel like that is gonna be my vibe as I age I've never seen anything like them and I'm just trying to like lean into what I actually like and not what is trendy and see how my own style emerges. I was like obsessed with these. I tried them on the, in the store, they seemed pretty comfy, but I did walk around in them a bit yesterday. And again, they're too narrow. These are for sale on my Poshmark as well, very sad. I also got this super cool Monet print that's now hanging over my bed. And I'm really loving my room right now and how I've updated it. So that is everything I've thrifted of late. You can shop my Poshmark in the description. I post new stuff on there regularly and it's definitely my favorite resale platform. I feel like it's just the easiest to use. The shipping is a lot more like streamlined and um, I was gonna say brainless. What's the word? No brainer shipping. Where on Depop you kind of have to figure it out for yourself and I've had so many times where the package I was sending through Depop Depop was a little more in weight than what I estimated it at and then I had to like cover the recipient paying for the extra cost so that's why I go with Poshmark. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate the like 40 to 60 people who watch my videos regularly. Um, I'm really grateful for this little community. Thank you so much. Have a great rest of your day. Bye! Oh, there I see three. Yeah, there's three. I wonder if one is the child. I'd like to know, because there's always three. Mm hmm Crazy how there.